Delving into the annals of television history, the 1975 series Switch holds a unique place in the realm of crime dramas. Starring Eddie Albert and Robert Wagner, this show follows two former con men turned private investigators, employing their cunning and charm to solve cases. It encapsulates an era where wit and deception intertwined painting a narrative that captivated audiences. Amidst the tale of scams and investigations lie several intriguing lesser-known facts. For instance, the show was initially intended as a vehicle for Patrick Mackney, who portrayed a similar character in The Avengers. However, scheduling conflicts led to the roles being handed over to Albert and Wagner, altering the show's dynamic and direction. Another lesser-known aspect is the cameo appearances from notable actors of the time adding an element of surprise for keen-eyed viewers. Reflecting on the myriad characters in Switch, it beckons the question which role resonated the most. Whether it's the astute Frank McBride portrayed by Wagner or the suave Pete Ryan played by Albert, each character brought a unique flair to the screen, making it an enticing choice for personal preference. We invite you to share your cherished memories or anecdotes related to this classic TV series. Whether it's an unexpected encounter or an unforgettable episode, your stories add depth to the allure of Switch. Share your experiences in the comments below. We'd love to hear your tales and memories. Switch, a television series that aired from 1975 to 1978, follows the exploits of two con men, Pete Ryan and Mac Eddie Murphy, who team up to run a detective agency. This unconventional duo uses their cunning skills and street smarts to solve crimes, employing their unique blend of deception and intelligence. The show's premise revolves around their adventures in the world of private investigation, combining elements of comedy, drama, and suspense. The charismatic leads, Pete and Mac, bring a dynamic chemistry to the screen blending their individual personalities and expertise to tackle cases. Pete, the suave and charming ladies' man, compliments Mac, the seasoned con artist with a knack for the craft. Together, they navigate a variety of scenarios with wit, resourcefulness, and occasional risky schemes. Switch is remembered for its fusion of crime-solving plots with light-hearted humor and the classic buddy cop dynamic. The show's appeal lay in its clever scripts, engaging narratives, and the undeniable charm of its leading actors. The series left a mark on popular culture for its depiction of antiheroes, their morally gray escapades, and the portrayal of a unique camaraderie between its main characters. Despite its relatively short run, Switch made a lasting impression on audiences for its intriguing storytelling and the endearing partnership between Pete and Mac, solidifying its place in the realm of classic detective shows. Switch, the 1975 television series, was the starring vehicle for Eddie Albert, marking his return to television after a four-year hiatus following the cancellation of Green Acres. This show also prominently featured Robert Wagner. Notably, while working on Switch, Wagner and Natalie would form their own production company called Rona 2, which co-owned several successful shows like Charlie's Angels, The Love Boat, Vegas, Fantasy Island, and Heart to Heart. This dynamic duo was hired to work at Spelling Goldberg Productions. Additionally, Switch drew inspiration from the acclaimed film The Sting. These behind-the-scenes elements contribute significantly to the show's history and the context of its creation, underscoring the notable connections and influences that shaped this iconic 1975 TV series. In the premiere episode of the 1975 TV series Switch, the backstory unfolds revealing an intriguing connection between the characters. Before teaming up with Frank McBride, Pete Ryan found himself on the wrong side of the law, getting apprehended by none other than McBride, an exceptional police officer. This twist sets the stage for their eventual partnership in running a detective agency. The series, featuring Robert Wagner as Ryan and Eddie Albert as McBride, took an interesting turn by intertwining their past in an episode, marking the beginning of their collaboration. Frank McBride, portrayed by Eddie Albert, had an intriguing parallel to real life. While the show depicted McBride's experiences in World War II, Albert himself served in the United States Coast Guard and later as an appointed lieutenant in the U.S. Naval Reserve after being discharged in 1943. This personal connection adds depth to the character's history, mirroring the actor's own military service. Although not directly evident in the series, a subtle nod to Eddie Albert's previous work in Green Acres can be found. 
In one of the episodes, Ryan uses the word golly, a term famously associated with the show Green Acres, where Albert had worked before Switch. This small reference creates an intriguing link to the actor's past iconic role. These pivotal points in the show's narrative and their connections to reality and prior works contribute to the depth and authenticity of the characters, adding layers to the storyline of Switch. After a few years of guest starring on shows for Universal Television, Eddie Albert was producer Glenna Larson's first choice for the older lead role of Frank McBride in the 1975 TV series Switch. Due to his lifelong friendship with devoted fan Robert Wagner, Albert accepted the role. The dynamic between the two actors significantly contributed to the show's success. In real life, Eddie Albert was 24 years older than Robert Wagner. This age gap provided an interesting dynamic, especially in an episode where Mac became a surrogate father to Pete. The chemistry between Albert and Wagner on and off screen played a pivotal role in shaping the characters' relationship, adding depth to their on screen partnership. Despite their age difference, their mutual respect and friendship helped drive the show's narrative, making their portrayals engaging and believable. The selection of Albert and the chemistry between the actors solidified the foundation of the iconic 1975 TV series Switch, contributing to its success before it eventually faced cancellation due to declining storylines in the later seasons. A line which Frank McBride had repeatedly said was taken from It Takes a Thief, which was Robert Wagner's first television series. In the 1975 TV series Switch, this catchphrase became a signature part of McBride's character. The show was notable for intertwining past experiences of the main characters, like Pete Ryan's history with the law and his eventual partnership with McBride. The dynamic chemistry between Robert Wagner and Eddie Albert played a pivotal role in the success of the series. Despite facing cancellation due to declining storylines in later seasons, Switch made a lasting mark in popular culture for its portrayal of anti-heroes, morally gray escapades, and the unique camaraderie between its main characters. Eddie Albert, known for his diverse roles as both good-natured men and villains throughout his acting career, brought depth to his portrayal of Frank McBride, establishing a memorable character in the world of classic detective shows. As we bid adieu, take a moment to reflect on the timeless allure of the 1975 TV series, Switch. Delve into the intricate web of memories it wove within the tapestry of your life. What were the standout moments that etched an indelible mark on your mind? The clever twists, charismatic characters, or the gripping narratives, each an invitation to wander down memory lane. This iconic show wasn't just a series, it was a chapter in many lives, a shared experience that sparked conversations, evoked emotions, and left an enduring imprint. Perhaps it was the enigmatic charm of Pete Ryan, the suave, and sly ex-con turned private eye, or the thrill of every cunning caper alongside his trusted friend, Link. Each episode was a puzzle piece, fitting into the mosaic of your TV viewing history. Your memories, thoughts, and feelings about Switch are a treasure trove, waiting to be unearthed and shared. Embrace this opportunity to reminisce and let those nostalgic waves wash over you. Take a moment to revisit those times when Switch graced your screen and how it became a part of your personal story. So, why not share those cherished memories or thoughts about Switch with the world? Your perspective might resonate with someone who, like you, holds this series dear. Your reflections could spark a dialogue, weaving a collective tapestry of appreciation for this remarkable show. Thank you for allowing Switch to be a part of your story and for considering the influence it had on your life. Your unique perspective adds depth to the rich history of this timeless series. With sincere gratitude for your time and interest, 